get closed actually who is clay who are claiming 2000 cc engine we have we don't require that much to take about uh, a person maybe 70 kg average into four so 280 kg i want another 280 kg to take me that's what is intelligence of human being not taking them with 200 300 uh, sorry three tons or even four tons well we require data for it that's the message it is closely connected with the capacity of the process, how we can process it. That's what I was telling, actually. It requires best processors, it requires best memory, and it requires best storage. Closely following this is the ability to handle the data. Today, you know that if you are comparing 30 years, the elemental processing capability has gone about 10,000 times or even 20,000 times in the, not only in the peak performance, the cuisine performance the actual performance what we get. And of the order of maybe billion times the memory capacity each node is capable of handling. Large petabytes, it's not a big deal today, but the elemental processing unit has multiplied like anything. So the 70s and 80s barely kept the few megabytes of data and a few gigabytes of data in uh, 80s and 90s for business and scientific applications. But today things have changed. We have got enormous capacity in the memory side and in the storage side too. Things have changed, as I was telling, about 1,000 times in power of processing per element and 1,000 uh, thousand times or much more than that in the memory which is attached to the processing unit. And of course, the story of the storage is entirely different. It is more than billion, billion times we are able to generate even at the node and at the clustered mode. There's no number restricting it depending on the gridding what we do. Or the so we get into the ability to process data is coming up and the data collection may not have improved but in the last decade we have improved quite a lot in that in the business side in the scientific side and in the societal side so megabytes kilobytes to megabytes to gigabytes to terabytes to petabytes to exabytes to seta and yota 10 raised to 24 an incredible growth and then vision and the capability and confidence the matter is actually confidence by 2010 we were very we are very clear we can collect as much as data and we are capable of processing it the, the question is that the systemic approach towards processing this data our code rules and the normal forms of reduction may not be the way to deal with it. As the complexity increases, the intelligence need to be increased at several multiple stages to teach that level. The fundamental principles what we were using in the 19th century and 20th century are no more actually sufficient enough. I cannot say no more valid. Every fundamental thing is valid at every corner of the world. Otherwise, it is not science. But the, the complexity is actually leveling or complexity is defined as the incredible growth what we can make over the fundamentals and then couple fundamentals into n polynomials and then create systems which will be holding the fundamentals but it will be creating functional relationship using those fundamentals which creates actually the complexity the more complex systems when we hand to hand need to handle we have to create more complex design more complex systems to analyze that so the basic or basics of the database systems what we have created in 20th, 21st century will remain good and it will be the hard core maybe at nodal points but coupling them together and looking at the raw data what we are getting and transforming them to be able to make use of the past experience and capabilities it going it is going to be a challenge that is the theme of big data analysis well, this is what I was telling, actually, the growth up to uh, 2024 we have imagined, but that's not a restricted horizon. I would say that this will exceed over a period of 10 years. What are they, these big data? What are they and where are they? So such data is springing up, actually, such data springing up continuously in business, in science, in social systems, and are called such large-scale data which is actually at a single node terabyte is springing up and I'm really interested in that what's happening really yeah, like Dr. Amar was telling the sky and the horizons of, of uh, Heathrow 
how how much people how many people are coming in and going out we would like to know what they were and where are they from what was their purpose everything we can process nowadays we are not very much processing though we are scanning it so they are large and complex so the data what we suppose that you know for trivial purpose if i i, I said actually for the uh, the washing machine to be observed in japan so the data what we can collect from is <laughs> we are observing for one year so how to analyze it should i spend billion dollars to analyze to get a profit of 1 million dollar we are not fools to do that actually so we know if the cost of processing is coming down and the technology is sufficiently complex and large and easy to handle then we can process so that is the stage where we are they are large and complex originating in large scale systems of business entities and operations and in scientific experiments like a large hydron hydron collider in uh, cern it is making actually of the order of uh, uh, about 30000 or 40000 points in the tube creating of the order of terabytes so you see the 30000 into terabytes one shot analysis has to be done this is big data so we have until and unless we do get into those data and extract the features and then analyze why those features are there what type of features it has got and take the core of it the thread of it or the or the silver line of it understand then only the scientific discoveries are possible now further and of course in big business we need to know how is the consumer response going how is the economy going concurrently how are the government policies going how is the society is swinging so to understand that the whole processing is required is running into terra and peta and otta type of uh, configurations so the uh, the big data definitions there are several types of big data definitions actually it is defined as large interrelated data okay and systems uh, inter data systems specific to single domain or multiple domain we can mix the data we can collect the data of different things and some of course we have a purpose why we are collecting that uh, multiple domains in domains when we collect we know that there is an objective for it and we have to cater to the needs of that objective we cannot collect all the trash when i am actually collecting the economic uh, surge what is taking place or the economic swing taking place why the gold has fallen about 200 dollars when we are looking into we cannot collect the data of the weather probably it may be i am wrong now it's my sense says that even weather may affect the trade so maybe actually geophysical fluid dynamics inside the earth that may not have much relevance why the gold price is fluctuating so the relevant data is required so we have to have an objective it can be collected from multiple sources as, as i was telling you over a short period of time or even a long period of time it usually requires the component uh, search data intensive model based and ai based approaches to see out we want to take from tera terabytes of data or the petabytes of data the thread of it we want to look into each part of it, it this was excellently done by intuition if you are talking to the walmart chief he will be knowing actually where probably uh, the the toys are getting sold maximum in us in which shop he knows that and why also he knows that he has never used he he might not have used a computer to analyze why actually colorado buys maximum amount of toys he knows so it is out of intuition the mind was capable of doing not through the computer analysis alone but today we are able to do it with massive amount of data supported by the computing clusters which will deal with the big data the large amount of data which may get sedimented so the data what, what is the scope of what is the scope of actually uh, the the data when we collect let's have a look at it large amount of data which may get sedimented i am i'm telling sedimented means much of the automation we have brought in the data collection process 
So you will be taking data just like this. It's like the mud on the seashore. It will be getting one over the other. It will simply build up. You cannot count the uh, number of sands on the mud, actually. So it will be inhomogeneous data. It is not an ordered set of, ordered set of uh, or a structured set of data what you are going to get. It will contain many, many things, like the way in which people speak. They are not speaking continuously about one thing alone if you go into a society. They will have different, different prep, the core, the information. It is inhomogeneous. But if you are interested in talking about uh, the weather of today, there will be so many people in the society talking about it. We can see out and what is their concern we can understand in the same sense. So organization of uh, traffic management and uh, several other optimizations, all these things and then the weather charts, hurricanes response developments, predictions, epidemic management and society management, the law and order of the society or the repercussions in society of incidents and other things and governance aspects, land use monitoring, the way in which the buildings are coming up, the way in which the deforestation is Rudy, Mr. Mahan and Mr. Khal See erosion is taking place. So several issues are there where the data can be getting automatically collected and we need to look into that and we need to analyze it. So to say several vital functions of the society including the green earth. We are really concerned about this earth. For the, the generations to come in the thousand years ahead of us, are we transferring the right earth back to them? We got it. Did we spoil enough by which you know our youngsters or the, the generations to come will not be able to survive? Is that the motivation what we have? We have to stop it and we have to create a green earth and hand it over to them and big data is going to play a vital role in creating the green earth. Of course, uh, the sources of the data I have briefly mentioned, it is actually from the business field, large amount of business actions are going on, whether it is related to oil, whether it is related to the, uh, the perishable commodities, whether it is related to metals and minerals, whether it is related to food items processed, or anything what we can trade actually. Anything what we can and service trade, which occupies actually of the order of 60% uh, or 64% of the 2 trillion, uh, 60, 64 trillion dollar economy the world has. So service is occupying the maximum thing. And even the business field is concerned maximum about that too. So it creates enormous amount of data. So we are bothered about markets, stocks, transactions, and consumer responses and the performance of the companies and uh, any coordinated effort, including the government and its procedures and proceedings. Scientific world is definitely, it was on the pursuit of big data for a longer time, but they didn't get enough computers, except for maybe Lawrence Livermore or the Caltech or maybe NASA and uh, many other institutions across the world buying specialized computers and using for large data processing. But today, these things are freely available. People can, Teraflop processing I can do from my desktop itself because I can go to the cloud and then uh, consume it. So geophysical fluid dynamics, and we are concerned about it, the fundamental particles, the geology, looking at the universe and then finding out uh, where are we from, where are we going to. And the biology, the biggest adventure of 21st century, you know, it's going to be, not going to be in atomic physics, it's not going to be in the space exploration, what we're doing close to class time for some. Be in the biology. So there also we require massive computing capabilities, though it has not come to that stage. I am fundamentally sure that over a period of 20 years, the maximum computing will take place in and around biology in the most complex format. Probably to create uh, the gene wave, which was existing maybe 800 million years back, I require actually three or four supercomputers used in uh, Lawrence Livermore today, which has been bought about six months back with a few petaflops. 
Okay, so the data in and around, where are these data actually? The big data, what we are talking about, it is there everywhere. Your observation for about six months or one year on your body, it will create a big data if you are thoroughly observing. So other data sources that may be left untapped by conventional business intelligence programs. This, this data actually, uh, every consumer interacting, he has got a response, and millions of consumer interacting, they have got varied response, but there is a silver line in that. They are all coming and then arguing or getting things done or taking some uh, items from the store or from the company. They have an interest, but it has got a variation. But we are not looking into that. We assume by intuition, and then we introduce products, we maintain products, we service product, we offer the other services too to them. But we can observe and then mathematically or using the standard uh, procedures of big data, we will be able to extract the silver thread or even the golden thread, maybe later platinum thread of it. The real information involved in big data is little conspicuous. Until and unless we capture the algorithms, methods, practices and process in the right direction, we may not be getting the real advantage, but we are in the process, we are confident about it. So. The data in and around when we are talking about, this is what it is. The unknown data and which we have already created, it is there with you. And it's only a matter of creating an atmosphere to look into that, which offers you the opportunity. These other data sources may include web server logs, exactly. The inter, um, internet click stream data, it shows the each mind when it is clicking. There is a thought process behind it. I will be able to evaluate it and then I will be able to statistically or using the trend setting analysis, I will be able to find out how the population is thinking today. By evening they may change actually, depending on some incident happened across the world. So the mobile phone calls and details of records, information captured by sensors actually. Sensor network will dominate the world shortly and autonomous sensor systems, they will be actually collecting enormous amount of data by which we will be able to coordinate our life on earth in a peaceful and a nice uh, way for a better life pattern. So the uh, few classes of, uh, new classes of big data technology so when we are dealing with big data, we have to uh, realize the technology for it. And big data analytics is the, uh, the, the, the practicing domain, software tools, advanced analytic disciplines such as predictive analysis and data mining are still valid. And we were practicing in a little bit way, but in an enhanced mode, definitely we will be going into. Unstructured data sources are the big data sources. So the analytics which we have to apply on them, it cannot be a continuation of the past. But the fundamental principles I told you, in a complex uh, format, we will be able to integrate and make use of it, and that will pave the way for deriving the thread of the data. New big data technology has emerged for the big data analytics environment. People, you will be hearing the speakers, which I have already seen, they will be touching upon these aspects, what I am covering in this keynote. They include actually what are the techniques. We have the NoSQL database, we have the Hadoop, and then the MapReduce algorithms, which they will be, some of them will explain. Hadoop is the distributed file system across the nodes, and it can be treated as the grid, and it can be uh, integrated uh, through the calls, and uh, there is a procedure for it. Map Ma'am. Mr. Yahya Al Hamam. Position process, and then uh, MapReduce they are effectively using. So it will be able to uh, use with patterns, we will be able to reduce the data what we have based on the structure which could be programmed into. This form of the, this form the core of an open source software framework that supports the processing of large data sets across the clustered systems. We have only clustered systems, the other systems have already vanished or they have to vanish. And then the big data, how to use it. This is what I was speaking till now. The value can be identified in the data when refined and modeled. Make hypothesis and see that the hypothesis is remaining valid or not. How much deviation is there? And then correct it. Correct the hypothesis, come to the conclusion and we get the result what we want to derive out of it. Create a statistical, visual and semantic models. I will be connecting the facts between and I will have the semantic web created out of it and including my um, uh, infolid system, which is actually patented. Some people are started using it. Then validate the hypothesis what I have put, 
and to remodel the hypothesis, the process goes on. I derive the benefit of big data. That's the final result. Interpreting visualizations can be there. Visualization play a major role. In fact, when I was working in space research, even though the computing power was much less, I have devoted much of my time to visualize the massive data we get from the telemetry into visualization, which offered a key success to my association of successful missions. Making the interactive knowledge queries, adaptive algorithms, which uh, derive meanings. So that also is a part of it. Some of the new sources are user-generated content through social media. There goes, actually, how people think. Politicians can definitely make use of it, I am sure about it. And information sensing devices massively distributed, aerial and space sensory perceptions, and then the perception engineering itself.